in the budgeting chapter what next we are going to study is the key features of effective budgeting okay we need to know that budget is not only an uh, uh, not only an estimate budget is not only a forecast but it's a plan to fulfill not only a forecast but it's an aim it's a plan plan of the future for the business a forecast is a prediction of what could occur in the future given at certain conditions so this is what bu budget is actually okay secondly budget may be established for any part of the organization may be established for any part of organization um because as far as as long as the outcome of its operations is measurable we can we can do budgeting for that this means that the cost center and the profit center both we have studied already in the costing chapter um, will have their budgets uh, so we have the budget for the sales we have budget for the capital expenditure we will have the budget for the labor cost we will have the budget for the profits so when we can measure the performance of some department we can make budget for that Another important feature, key feature of the effective budget is the coordination between the department. When you say the coordination between the departments, as I, we have discussed earlier in the uh, positive sides of the budget, when, when the departments are coordinated with each other, um, whatever budget we have make, made, all the departments will be working in the same direction. Because if we do not coordinate, the quality department will be focusing on the improvement of quality and the cost department will focus on the saving of the cost. Both of the departments will be working in the opposite direction. So coordination of the department is a key feature, is an essential part of the budget. And another key feature of the budgeting is involvement. Involvement of managers, involvement of employees, involvement of departments. Okay. Uh, decisions regarding the budget should be made with the consent of the managers. It should be made for with the consent of those people who are responsible for the meeting of targets. If you just give them budget and you do not ask them whether they are okay with that or not, they won't be uh, they won't be able to fulfill their targets because the targets might be too high to achieve, or sometimes the budgets to be less to less to uh, to to achieve those targets. So, if you want to give them the sense of ownership of the targets. If you want to give them the sense of ownership of the, of, of the organization, you should involve them in the budget so that they can tell you that what amount of finance they need for the certain thing and what amount of revenue they are going to earn from out of certain thing. Okay, review of the performance. What does it mean? That budget should be used to review the performance of each managers controlling a cost or a profit center. Like cost and profit center, if you remember those cost center was the department or the part of product or the product itself whose cost can be measured separately. Similarly, profit center was the product, part of product or department whose profit can be measured separately. If you are giving budgets to the cost centers and profit center, there will be some responsible managers for those two. So what you do, you give them budget and you measure their performance, whether they have effective uh, planning for that, whether they are effectively um, um, reaching their targets or not. So, okay, okay. We, we always identify the successful and unsuccessful managers of the cost centers and the profit centers and we uh, we give them rewards according to that. So, this was, these were some key features of the budgets.